We're working with 2x2 two two stainless steel cages here this afternoon. We're going to be installing the portal. This is a shoreline template. Um, it's going to go into the back corner of each side of the cage. I'm going to mark it with a Sharpie. Then I'm going to go to the other side of the cage and mark that side. Okay, so that makes such that the holes will be meet up, which we really want them to do from side to side. So the next step is going to be making a pilot hole for the step bit, which I'll show you the step bit. Um, and it's going to go about one inch inside that um, traced hole marking. And I do use a little bit of lubricant on that so that my drill bits and step bits stay sharp as long as they can. Next step is going to be to grab the step bit and make about a one inch hole in here. The reason we need that is so that the nibbler will fit inside that. It should have ear and eye protection on it this time, as well as anyone that's in the room with you. We're going to use the pilot hole um, as our starter point and then we'll drill out this hole. Now we're going to cut out our portal holes out of the stainless steel and we're going to use this nibbler. There's two kinds of nibblers. There's one that's the this 18 volt um, cordless and there's a corded one. You can use either kind, but the battery operated makes it a little bit easier to spin it around. I'm going to also put on some lubricant onto the steel wall. I'm going to do this mostly because when I seal it up with silicone or whatever you end up using for a sealant, it just makes the walls clean so it'll adhere well. First thing we're going to do is install the spacer. This will go in between the cage walls and it will help hold the walls out when the, we tighten down the, the um, portal. This spacer you will overlap it so that you can get it inside. The other thing that is nice to have um, especially on older units is a, a paint scraper or the like in case the walls need to be pulled apart a bit because they're sharp and I don't like to touch them. Um, but I'll see if this fits in here first. Sitting in there sometimes the cage walls will be tighter together those you have to squish them out a little bit and uh, like this one's a little bit farther apart so it's just sort of sitting in there which is fine. 
The portal is labeled with up and a notch on both sides. So that should be the way it goes in. So I'll put in the back side. It's just the spacer might need to be widened just a tad to get this to go through. What I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna line up my holes side to side, the bottom of that with the bottom of that one so that so that big hole will be on the bottom there. Make sure that that's on the floor flat and then try to get my portal to line up. And that looks pretty good. So that's gonna make that door sit in there squarely. So this is, this is the silicone that I like to use, and I got white and clear. The last thing we need to do is put the door on. Now, I have seen several places where the door is upside down, so this is, I want to put this on correctly. The paw print should be up when the door is open, and we're going to put the door right here. There are two sets of bolts. They're the same, the door catch and the hinge bolt are the same, so they're assembled the same. On the shoreline, there is the land yearn for the door lock. So it comes like that, but they can be assembled essentially the same. So I'm going to put the door catch on. That's going to go in the back. I'm going to start it with a screwdriver, but if I'm doing a lot of these, I'll often just use a drill to put these in. this on I try to make sure that as I'm getting close to tightening it down that I actually push the door on to closer to the um, washer so that as it tightens I don't um, distort this plastic piece otherwise it won't fit quite right. <laughs> 